Well, we're all done with group play and we are back ready to kick things off in the bracket play. Starting with our first quarterfinal matchup, it's going to be, of course, Oakland going up against Davenport. On the side of Oakland, we have yet to see them on stream, but if you were tuned in to Colleague TV, you did watch them upset Akron and as they ended up fin finishing second in Pool A. So, Oakland looking to showcase their stuff on stream. On the other side of the stage, we have Davenport University, and I know we got a couple people here that were making noise uh, for Davenport earlier on in the tournament. So they're hoping to, well, turn things around. Uh, Davenport with a very tough overtime loss in Game 5 to Durham, uh, Durham a couple hours ago. So they're looking to bounce back. But they're ready. They had a quick little team huddle uh, before uh, this match and well they look prepped they look focused and they look ready to go so we're going to throw it down to the caster desk to kick things off here in the quarterfinal one of the saints colleague invitational thanks so much and yes we are finally done with the round robin we are ready now for the bracket stage here of the saints x colleague rocket league invitational of course it's going to be davenport versus oakland two teams who have been impressing us this evening davenport playing it really co close to both uh durham as well as northwood and oakland getting an insane upset over akron to get themselves in this stage of the bracket Right, I mean, Davenport with a couple of hard series, hard way to open up the day. You know, they have that series against Northwood, and it, you could have swore it was every single game, or most of which were just done by one goal, and then there were some also tech difficulties that they got into in overtime as well that ended up costing them that. So, unfortunate on the side of Davenport, but they definitely played a close series, and then even looking on to the series that they played against, I believe it was... Oh, man, it was Durham, right? Yes. And, and they, it was just back and forth, back and forth. Uh, Durham did a great job of kind of scoring immediately after Davenport would answer. So, uh, you know, we got a really, really good uh, series up in here with Davenport and Oakland. Yeah, I think Davenport was one of the big shocks, but as well as Oakland. This is almost the match of the Dark Horses here as we get going into our best of five of this quarter final between Oakland and Davenport University. You know, and uh, to be honest, I'm just so excited right now. Player I want to look out for is Bolte on the side of Davenport. He's kind of been like the spark plug to the offense that I've been seeing so far. And as he takes it up the side while Six Boost to work with, use the flip just to try to get past the defense, trying to set up a pass, but no one there for Davenport just yet. So, like you mentioned, Bolte, a great player, has been also not even just on the offense, but also on the defense, has been an iron wall for Davenport on Oakland, of course. Whale being in place. Actually, Jaywiz isn't here, which is uh, kind of shocking to see that they're able yeah. to perform as well as they are without Jay Wismont, who was the former professional on the roster. But sometimes Rocket League tends to work out like that. Whale still a great player to have on your team with a long history in college. And I think the reason why Oakland's doing so good today, uh, at least better than I thought they were going to be doing, is just Peep. I mean, this guy's really stepped up as he puts a shot on that. He's cleared out by Bolte. But Oakland keep on pressing so far. They have a decent offense going. And with boost numbers getting low on the side of Davenport, they have to try to stay careful. Yeah, gotta be careful, Tysonic. For a pass, but there's nothing really on it. I'm also getting juked by his car color right now. I mean, he's on orange, he's not. Peep, for the carry. Still, great clear redirect by Whale. Exiled, gonna have to play this high. Peeps looking to play low. Tysonic baiting, baiting, and the pre-jump will work out. Still in wow. a dangerous position. Davenport able to make the save. Right, I mean, they're just kind of sitting on their back line. It's just next man up. The comms got to be going crazy. Air dribble to come through. Is anyone there on the side of Davenport? Yes, 16 with a quick save, but they're not out of the half just yet. With the air battle, they have to try to find the 50, and it's going to happen. Sonic not quite able to win out on that side. Gives Davenport a little bit of breathing room. Oakland recuperating, collecting some boosts, looking for their entry point. That's almost a near clear and shot in. But will be saved once again by Bolte. As Whale looks to get over one, he does! Just managing to get over that defensive rotation by an inch. Right, I mean, it's so well timed. The pass comes through, the placement's perfect, and he knows Whale just has to try to find that bump. There's no one behind on the side of Davenport that can help out. Beautiful play. Oakland, open up the scoring. Half a game remaining. 
double whiff, but Tyson will be there. Pass is nowhere to be found. No problem, boys. Just regain. And a large challenge coming in through for Davenport. Bolte realizing that the only way Davenport are going to be able to get some sort of presence is with big lunging challenges like this. So far, you know, the shot comes in, Peep with the save, and again, like you were saying earlier, he's just been a crazy defensive presence on the side that Oakland what? can count on. What even just happened there? It seems like an air dribble just going through from Whale, and no defender was simply there. The ceiling touch, and it was just the ceiling touch that beat the defender on Davenport. So what was kind of looking like a little bit of a mishap on the side of Davenport turns out to just be a pretty calculated uh, good place touch by Oakland. Yeah, that, that's something I would maybe practice in my training packs, but would expect it to be saved because of how bad it is. Regardless, right. apparently it works. Oakland just short, Pete in the waiting for a good 50. Tysonic maybe looking for a cut, but he's a bit awkward on it. Still might be able to make it work. Just a bit of boost to left, looking for a good 50. Will, we'll keep it in the midfield, Bolte. Multi versus Peep, the two stars of the show for this roster. Now, with Peep, looking for the solo pass, a little bit too wide. Right, I mean, he's just looking for that engagement in the midfield, but both of the players on Oakland not there to beat out. Shot comes through, but it's just going to be cleared out so far. And now the setup to 16, just beat out by Whale. You know, Oakland doing a pretty good job so far of just getting the ball out of their own back line. There comes the clear from Boom. Peep. Potential solo, but 16's there and back. 16, that's a whiff though, and a demo as well for the Oakland side. Now, only a minute left and Davenport, really no presence on the offense. This is such a stark contrast to what we saw when it came to the Durham series where, yeah, Oakland, sorry, Durham were allowed to basically do whatever they want, but Davenport always came back with some sort of answer that was creative, that was unique. But now this pass still not on target, Davenport will continue to keep trying. And they had to try to find something there. They had such an advantage on the boost numbers. It's kind of weird to see that it didn't turn out into actual results. Demo going down, and now Whale has to try to find the clear to buy time for his teammates, try to collect boost. The player up, the beat is going to come through from Sonic Boom. And now Peep with the clear out, trying to find Whale, but it's going to be an offline connection. Bolte trying to get the clear out, but it stays in their half. Bolte, despite the defensiveness of his, or defensive caliber of himself, he still needs to present himself on the offense. This might be the start, but it's just off of the crossbar. Davenport wishing that everything could have gone through for that attempt. Still no conversion. With that, that will be game one to go to Oakland University. Their streak continues as they're able to shock more and more with a four second goal to carry this one into game two. Right, I mean, it's just going to be Peep all by his lonesome, beats one defender, has the read on the sidewall, beats the second. And I really have to say right now that Davenport just got thrown into what was an Oakland masterclass. It was such good defensive play by Oakland, not letting anything really develop too much on their side. Even when they had boost number disadvantages, they stood strong, they stood up tall, they played their 50s well, and they got out of it. Nice. Now, with Oakland taking game one, Davenport, this is the first time where they really haven't been able to keep it close and they were thoroughly commanded on the pitch with no answer in their offense. So this is where I think they're gonna have to reevaluate. You can see the coach tuning in and being like, okay guys, we gotta figure something out. We're getting beat in the midfield. We're kind of getting dunked on and we're hesitating on our challenges. I got to talk to them briefly beforehand and that was one thing that they did point out was that, you know, in terms of calling the ball, in terms of the communication of things, there's some hesitation. They were so confident against Northwood, but now they're struggling to get that confidence across against some of the other teams here that we have in this invitation. Right, I mean, I think something that I want to see a little more from Davenport is more physical play, more bumps, maybe someone going through the back line. They're doing a good job of stealing boosts in the back line of Oakland. They had that one sort of uh, engagement where they had so much boost uh, and, uh, you know, That's just it. to Oakland. Oh. As I say that, Oakland's going to be able to put one away. 
But I think if you're Davenport, you got to try to find a demo, a bump. You're having some of these uh, areas where Oakland just has three people back, but they don't have boost. With those static cars, you have to try to move some, you know, crowd control around. Maybe that'll open up some opportunities. I think Davenport was seeing a bit more success when they were kind of hail marrying a little bit and being a bit more aggressive in their challenges. And that's kind of what won them a lot of battles with Durham, with Northwood, is when they were feeling confident in every touch that they were making, not getting hesitant. And now even with the bumps trying to come through for Oakland, still being able to convert Peep makes it a 2-0. Right, I just want to point out the pass right now from Sonic Boom. That is absolutely incredible. Delays the flick able to use it off the backboard. Peep knows exactly where it's going to be. Barred down, no chance of a save on the side of Davenport. Oakland just going immediately where they left off. They open up the scoring yet again, and now they are up 2-0 with 26 down. Yeah, that's 6-0 right now from Oakland on Davenport that have gone unanswered. Now if there's any time for a change, Bolte would be the impetus for it. That's a good pass. Pete needs to be there, and he is. 16, it's still dangerous. Are they going to get the waterfall read? No, Whale gets there in time. But the boost is low on Oakland and Davenport, frankly. But all of them are low. They're trying to just reorganize and keep their defensive rotation intact to deal with the pressure that's coming in from Davenport. 16, gets the flip reset. Maybe look for another pass, but it will be knocked to the side by Dysonic Boom. Right, I mean, he could have opted for the pass or he could have taken it slow. Either way, he tries to play time, letting Davenport get some boost to try to fuel this offense. But so far, there's just nothing going awry for them. And that was a really close save, no, no, uh, save Bolte. there. Bolte with the backflip, that's very unfortunate. But he is going to find a demo for his challenge. And now they can try to see if Davenport can get on the board. They really need to answer soon because the momentum just has not been swinging in their side. No, though, that being said, Davenport, this is the first time we've seen them really have some extended pressure, and it's gotten very close, and they've had the pieces to make it work. They've been able to starve out Oakland and prevent them from using too much of their individual skill in that, or in doing so, try and create some opportunities for themselves. 16, nothing will come of it, and will be going back to the orange half. Right now, oh, Davenport Peep, getting an answer quick, and that's not going to help your causes. Peep has been on fire this series so far. We're only in game two, but he just keeps scoring time and time again. It's going to be the pass from the opponent, actually. It was just XL just trying to clear that ball, get it into the back corner. Peep cuts out the rotation, intercepts, and finds a third. Well, I mean, even to do so, like cutting off a back pass like that, it requires so much confidence. You need to be able to trust in your challenge, or else you're potentially leaving your teammates in a 3v2 where someone is starting with a solo play. And that can get very hairy real quick. But then again, you're also up 2-0. You don't need to do much. You're getting a demo. You're getting another shot in. You are having a 4-0 game, Peep. Right, and I mean, I just want to point out, it's going to be Sonic Boom running the interference, gets the pass, has the demo, and honestly, I'm looking at this sort of a play, and I'm thinking, Davenport, this is what they need to do on the other side if they want to find success, but they just haven't been able to get the ball into the other end. It feels like this ball's been in the orange half the entire time. Oakland right now are on fire. Fake from Peep, the pass goes out. Sonic should be on it, but it's just going to be offline. Clear comes in from 16, but Sonic again, they are so confident in cutting rotation and they get there to intercept again. The 50 from Whale is not going to find anything, but Peep trying to get around the defender, not going to happen. Ball in the blue half, but it should be cleared out quickly. That's a bad whiff. You want to have wow, that one back nice in your down Sonic. to Sonic with the dribble and he's just going to take it all the way. Are you kidding me? Seemed like AI out there right now. Going through one, flick onto two. The interference coming in from Beep to just drain the shot or maybe the defender but it's just not going to happen Sonic takes it himself the entire way 5-0 in a statement game from Oakland casual 1v3 from Tysonic boom not very often but when then again when you are up 5-0 what else do you really go for if you can rely on your solo play that much then at this point Oakland can pretty much walk all over you so Davenport probably using the rest of this time just as an extended timeout seeing what they can do to change things up and maybe lab some things in the offensive half look for these better challenges which almost that's one there however 
The shot needs to be successful. The squishy save is going to come through, even though it is a bit awkward for Oakland. And that will be Oakland's, or excuse me, Davenport's first goal, making it 5-1. At the same time, you're kind of opening things up to getting Brazil. Right, I mean, that's, <laughs> I, mean, I think that's the least of the players' worries for sure. But, you know, from our standpoint, that would be funny. But right now, Davenport, you know, this is important. Yes, you're down 5-1. Are you going to lose this game? Barring an absolute miracle, most likely, yes, you will find your down, yourself down 0-2. I do man. You I, found I lost one the other day in ranks. Oh, well. It happens. But you are finding yourself on the scoreboard, and you can sort Ooh. of get some sort of momentum off of these plays, off of getting onto that board. Now XL trying to have the dribble. He can go under the one defender, fake out, but Peep, the second man playing shadow defense, trying to go for the wall, and he is going to have the read. Beats out Bolte to Sonic Boom, down drop pass. down pass, down to Whale. The air dribble, Good 16 read. has a challenge. It's going to be over, but XL has his back as the ball goes the other way. Uh, that's almost an own goal, but I think Davenport, they're starting to recognize where Oakland want to play. They're pre-jumping a lot of their challenges. They're trying to just deal with a lot more of the solo plays that have been opening things up in the rotation. They're basically playing contact plays. If any of you are familiar with the game, contact plays is essentially you're waiting for a touch from your opponent. That way you can respond and play off their mistakes as Peep does there, though he whips. Right, I mean, so far, Oakland, you know, just having to hold here, making sure Davenport can't get anything else going. This game has kind of gone to a resounding halt, but it's going to pick up yet All right, again. all right, everyone. All right, everyone. Yeah, this okay. Is, okay, this okay. is important. It could happen. It could happen. Okay, okay, chat. All right. To anyone, or even in the arena. Okay, type one if you think it's going to be a Brazil. Type two if it's not. And whoever wins gets channel points or something. I don't know. There we go. 21 seconds left. Oakland looking for the Brazil to end game two. That is a demo for no Davenport. Potentially, Bolte going to put one on. Whale. Bolte getting the clear, doing everything they can to avoid a potential disaster. And I don't just mean by losing game two. And it's avoided! Exiled stops the Brazil in its tracks. Yeah, and you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> again, you know, you stop the Brazil, but you also score with six seconds left. This is important if you are Davenport. You have a little bit of a momentum now going into the next game. Demo comes out from the kickoff Spanish, I believe. And now Exiled just trying to run interference. Maybe a third goal on the board, not going to happen. Oakland come away with yet another game. And again, it's going to be off the backside of Tasonic Boom being able to run interference in the back line of Davenport and Peep's ability to just finish. Yeah, and I'm now looking at Oakland. I mean, I think they might have a minor tech thing, but... You can just tell it's all business. Coach really chiming in, trying to do everything they can to just lock in as much as possible, figure out what's going on. And it seems as though, I mean, a lot of it just comes down to the challenges and the aggressiveness and really playing to the confidence. Because I wouldn't say that Oakland and how they're playing, that they're better, that they are mechanically better. I, I don't think so just from how I'm seeing it. A lot of it just comes down to Oakland are playing predict or unpredictable. They're trying more challenges off of the wall, trying to maintain that midfield control and just essentially playing defense like very average. I, I think it's something that Davenport has dealt with much better opponents and have been able to do it much better against the likes of Northwood and Durham, but they're just struggling to find that here. And with that, they will be on match point Durham look to sweep. Right, I mean, it's just tough if you are Davenport right now. Oakland are playing so confident as well, cutting through rotations, intercepting back passes. We saw it happen a couple of times. And right now, as the messy kickoff goes, the way of Oakland Whale has to try to find a teammate, just looking to stall time, getting called off. And now Exile, Demo going through the back line on 16 onto Whale. And now, finally, Davenport to try to mount an offense, double commit to clear the ball right now, but Peep has another touch, trying to play the, con the contact play, able to get it down to the center, but it will be cleared back out from Bolte, keeping uh -oh. a man back as Boom. That's a good flick, but a decent save to be put on, not very challenging forward to Sonic Boom, able to get there comfortably. Yeah, so patient though from Oakland. I mean, there's a lot of players that you could even see on better teams that would have immediately jumped for that, that would have just gone in and tried to get the clear, beat him to the challenge. But Tysonic was waiting, patient, 
waited for the attempts and just played off it. Because seriously, he, if he's confident in his own ability that he's able to get the save, why put yourself at risk? Why put your team at risk? Why leave the potential net open for a contact play? You're able to do that, no problem if you have that confidence. Right, I mean, going back on what you said, oh, you said that demo. that's going to open up yet again for Peep. It's going to be Whale this time running the interference on the side of Oakland. And I mean, uh, they've just been able to do this to them yeah. for the entire series so that's far. No right? boost either, by the way. Right. There's like nothing on Oakland, yet they're still making it work. But the point I was going to track back on is back on what you're, you said, Seth, you were talking about how Oakland is just not really playing more like mechanical or anything. It's just they were playing more patient, they're confident in what they do, and they're playing like probably their own, what they think is their own brand of Rocket League. Peep is going to find yet another one, pass out from Tasonic Boom. We got to get a peep score counter right now. Like, how many <laughs> goals has this man scored in this series? And this is a best of five. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I would love to see the stats after that. And I think a lot of that came down to even the threat of bump pressure from Oakland right now is just throwing Davenport's mental completely out of whack. Pete might be able to get another here if he gets the 50. Whale's going to jump in very riskily. So Tysonic Boom and needs to get it clear. It's a bit of an awkward scenario. 16 will get the demo. So now it'll go back to the midfield. This could be a chance. Exiled needs to get a flick over one. He does. Whale still there for the save. Davenport just can't get around these defenders. The moment that you get rid of one Oakland member, there's another one in the waiting. And I just want to point out the fact that the 50s for Oakland have been so good. And mainly that's just their ability to play behind the ball. You see Peep delaying, making sure they use every single last bit of boost there, the boost management sublime from Peep to just kind of stay with the ball. And all of the members of Oakland have been doing the same thing. They're just able to find their touches, find their 50s, and they're not getting off of the ball when Davenport needs a big clear. So now Oakland trying to punish a bit more of this Davenport off ball or off wall play what they're trying to rely on at the moment. That's a good attempt, but it's you gotta get the flick, back. and that was probably the best attempt he had, especially as Oakland's player, which I believe was Whale, was going backwards. Now, half a game remaining, Oakland firmly in the lead, though, even though I feel like we've been on the orange half for a long while now, it just felt as though Davenport, no matter what they're throwing, haven't been able to break open that rotation yet and find their conversion. Right, to Sonic Boom getting cleared out by Exile. But the second it happens, another teammate able to just put the ball back in, settles down for Peep. Oh, Peep. Off the ceiling, one touch. He can beat the defender, but the save should come through. Exiled, able to get there. Now with a solo play of his own, trying to find the touch off the ceiling. Maybe a flip reset over one defender. The save comes through from Whale. Excellent backboard defense, but oh, the shot oh. comes back in from 16, and he sends an absolute laser through the bottom. Davenport finally given one. Finally, great pass from Bolte as well. That is the kind of responsiveness off rebounds that you really need to be able to make your offense work against a team like Oakland, who they're not going to play orthodox. You even saw in that attempt from Bolte that you didn't have someone on the ground. You had one person on the backboard and that's it. And that's how much trust that Oakland have in each other at this moment. So 90 seconds remaining. Davenport finally having a chance in this game. Pass over to Bolte, who's going to send it up high. The offensive rotation will come through in the blue half. That's a shot off the post. Right, I mean, I, I think the Sonic Boom may have gotten a hand on it, but I can't be quite sure. It did look like it went off the post. The ceiling drops the ball down. Exiled now has to try to find the clear. Has one flip in the tank. Oh, that's Not bad. going to use that's it well, bad. though. Peep with the rebound, and it oh. is going to be found out by the Sonic Boom. Little mistakes, pressure building out a minute 10. You can't afford to let anything bad slip up like that. It's just heartbreaking if you're on the side of Davenport and Oakland jump back out to a two-goal lead. Practice your ceiling clears, everyone. <laughs> so training back to Fort. No, I'm just kidding. They're all better than me. But right. <laughs> Davenport, a minute remaining. It's not undoable if they're able to get this going now. Good clear. Tysonic will send it up high. Good demo as well. Peep. I, come on. Seriously? Okay. Uh, I was like, there's no way that they're just leaving it to fall down for a peep that's in the air looking for your shot. That is where things get dangerous. Peep looking for another one as well. 16, it's a bit awkward. Tysonic will get the rebound. Oakland, 4-1 on the cusp of sweeping Davenport.
Right, I mean, Peep just so methodical. He doesn't force any touch or rush it. He knows to use that air roll right to just bend the ball to the right side to make it awkward enough that the Davenport defender can't get a clean save out. So, again, really well done job from Peep there. And Oakland as a whole, they jump up to 4-1. I mean, I, I don't want to cast or curse it, but, I mean, this this game is pretty much over. Pretty much over. Also, I just want to say, Tony Pizza in the chat, everyone. Okay. Now... 30 seconds remaining, that is one for Davenport. So, last time I saw two goals scored in the span of 30 seconds, it was Valley Field, RLCS, uh, sorry, CRL Worlds 2022, and that took a humongous effort. So Davenport, if they're able to get a kickoff here, that might open things up. Well, we'll see what they bring. The strats have to come out here. It's lose, you go home. So for the side of Davenport, they have to get something going. Messy kickoff to start though, and they're going to have to start this last 20 seconds in their back half. Yep. Pass comes, or shot comes down more or less, but Bolte able to meet it. However, Clear. they keep on clearing, but they need to try to get something working That's on it. the offensive half. It won't happen with seven seconds left, and that last judgment goal, that nail in the coffin from Peep, that will be the dagger. You can see Davenport here. They're even positioning themselves, waiting for that strong clear so that they can immediately pounce on it. Exiled, first man, way deep, waiting for that shot. Not working out as Oakland able to recognize, immediately putting in two man on. Last second will wind down. Oakland University advanced to the semifinals here for the Saints X colleague Rocket League Invitational in a sweep over Davenport. And you know what's interesting is going into the series, I thought this was going to be one of the closer ones. You know, I could have seen I thought this, this was going to be like a game five, like yeah, sick. I, I, you know, some overtimes I was expecting game five nail biter. Like that's what I thought coming into the series. But Oakland is locked. They are yep. doing everything well. They are playing so patient. And it's just really paying off. It's just land merchants, dude. Land <laughs> merchants for Oakland. They've done it time and time again. And now Davenport, I know they're going to be disappointed considering the, the performance that they were able to put in against some of the, which honestly hurts. If you're able to go against literally the number one and like number three seed and be able to take it to them in either best of fives or like really close games, but then, you know, you fall short of a team like Oakland, that almost hurts more than just straight up, you know, a losing a close series because you want it to be competitive. You want it to be close. And it was for some parts, but it just feels like so much of this series was a stylistic clash rather than just Oakland really labbing and outplaying Davenport. It was just they both have different styles of play. One just very hard mismatches against the other. Right. And I mean, uh, is there really much to talk about on the side of Oakland? I mean, they I'll be honest. One word. Peep. Right, yeah. like I mean, absolutely no, I mean, incredible. I mean, don't get me wrong. The team, you know, I, I guess I'm sort of short uh, selling this. His teammates in Dasonic and Will were both really good at running interference on the side of Oakland. Yeah. So you know, I, I take that back actually, because now thinking about it, Peep scored a lot of tap-ins. Peep, Peep was like a really good just score for Oakland, but I think a lot of his team was able to facilitate. I think it, it, not even so much as it was just straight up bumps, demos, but even just like the threat of it just made right. things awkward. They were able to like, it, you see it a lot in pro play. I think J Naps is like a really good example where they will just touch the ball to make it weird in offense. And it's so hard to predict in doing so. And I think that's where Oakland really excels is because it's so hard to read a team that will just touch the ball from literally anywhere and you somehow have to figure it out in your rotation scheme. Yeah, and, uh, you know, on the side of Davenport, you really look at things that they, you know, could have improved on on that series. I think for sure uh, getting out of their back half, like, there were just some mishaps, right? Yeah. I mean, we saw a couple of missed clears, back passes that got cut off that probably shouldn't have been made. You know, that one ceiling clear was kind of haunting at the end there as well. So at the end of the day, you know, we can look at a couple of these mistakes that Davenport did make. But you also just have to look at it at this series and say, this was just simply an Oakland masterclass. Yeah. And I think Oakland are continuing to showcase just their run right now uh, and that the, the Akron win wasn't just a fluke. We're going to take a look at some replays here as we have them on hand. Honestly, it's probably going to mostly be Oakland just because of, again, how 
much they scored relative to just everyone else, even just this clear pass that just wasn't defended, unfortunately. A kickoff clear. I think this one goes to, yeah, it, this one goes to Davenport or yes, no. No, I don't. Oh, I think this is going to be where yes, uh, no, the Sonic ends maybe. up running the flick to the backboard. Yeah, yeah that, act, that flick was actually very nasty because yes. that had so much more power on it than you would expect, especially if you're a defender, which again, I'm talking about. It. It's just weird touches that you don't expect. Any other person, uh, player on the pitch would have probably just gone for the simple tap up, um, but the, that he went for the flick pass just makes it very hard to predict if you're Davenport. Right, and I mean, it was plays like that that were kind of going on uh, fire for Oakland all day. Highlighting some other things, like just touches on 50s, setting up for big-time clears that Davenport couldn't really come back from. The demos end up coming out as yeah. well. I mean, Oakland just played this so situationally aware. Like, their situational awareness for this series was just simply sublime. Yeah. There was they knew almost exactly what Dav where Davenport's players were going to be moving to. They cut out everything. They played with each other so well, just backing up one another. You'd see the fifty go down, and it was immediately an Oakland player who would then scoop up and then take the ball. So it was just such good awareness and positional awareness uh, play from Oakland. This play is such a good example too, because yeah, I, Davenport they're they're so prepared. Right, to go in transition because that is what made them successful is they, they immediately are able to go in transition and just go like literally three man rotation on offense. And but there was a the, the moment ball. that possession is taken away from them in the midfield, they already have two men up in the midfield and they don't have the speed right now to like rotate back. So either you're stuck with a first man or like your third man just being in a 1v2 and immediately Oakland are able to score or Davenport just straight up has to completely re-rotate themselves to go into their defense and try and just scramble to make it work. And it felt a lot of the time that they were just really panicky and transition back to a defensive so quickly. Yeah, I mean, just showcasing that ceiling clear that went wrong there for Exile. You just get, you have to, you know, you hate to harp on these players a little too much, but you, you know, at this level, you kind of have to have that one down. You can't afford to make a mistake like that. Another one coming out from 16. They just had the players, like you said, awkward. And, and Oakland were just able to find those touches to make the plays defensively awkward for Davenport to deal with yeah. all series long. And even with scores like this, where 16 got, it was just a simple beat over the defense, but it wasn't a guaranteed thing. It was more just, yeah, okay, you beat us to the ball like once, right? And, and I know that sounds mean. I don't want to like discount Davenport's success. They have very much proved why they're a dangerous team here. It's just, again, a stylistic mismatch between one of the teams that we have coming up in Oakland. Obviously, one of our land finalists from uh, the year prior uh, for uh, at, at St. Clair College for one of the Rocket League tournaments. Now, we are just about ready to send things over to the stage for an interview with our winners in Oakland University. Sonic Boom, um, talk to me about that match. Obviously, you guys are pretty familiar with that school. Uh, what went right in that series for you guys? I mean, I feel like everything went right. Uh, that was the best Rocket League I feel like we played. My teammates are just amazing. I mean, without them, we wouldn't be as good, at, nearly as good as we are. Um, uh, Peep played well. Aiden, uh, a whale, was uh, hunting the team and demoing them a lot. We got a lot of demos, and the we were able to really clear up some uh, shooting paths and just the ability to create plays by those demos. So that was key for us. So I want to go back a little bit to the second round of group play. You guys took on Akron. Um, that was on Colleague Stream. Um, a bit of an upset, obviously Akron without Tristan, but did that affect your mindset at all going into that series? I mean, as going into any series, we're ready to play and we're going to want to win uh, no matter who we're playing. Uh, yeah, Akron's a tough team and they've, they've uh, played at the highest level. So uh, we're definitely excited to get that win and uh, are excited moving forward in any team we play next. So speaking of playing next, Northwood is next up in the semifinals. It's going to be a best of seven. Obviously, the, being the best team in the country, is there any extra added pressure for you guys, or is it just play your game and, and see where it takes you? Kind of just play our game. We're not going to change up too much. Uh, we kind of know what to expect. Uh, played them before a few times, but uh, treat them like any other team. Uh, but we'll know what they're capable of, and I think uh, we'll be excited to take it to them and catch them off guard maybe and take the win. 
What's the key to success for you guys in this series and, and potentially the rest of the tournament? I think clear commu communication, not demoing or not getting demoed, so keeping us on the field at, as much as we can, uh, allowing us to play at the fastest that we can, um, and making the right decisions. I mean, I think uh, it's all when practice comes together, we'll make uh, get the win. So. All right, great. Well, we appreciate you doing this. Uh, good game, the last series, and good luck the rest of the way as well. Uh, that was Tysonic Boom from Oakland. They're ready to play one of the big dogs in CRL. We'll see if they can make something magical happen. Find out in just a few short minutes with quarterfinal number three coming up next.